One of the commonest reasons why parents get their child to a dermatologist after repeated attempts at treatment of certain eczemas with their pediatrician is the relapsing nature of this eczema. So there are a few diseases in childhood. The eczemas are called atopic eczemas and these atopic eczemas have a tendency of relapsing and recurring over the years and even as the child gets older unless the triggers are identified and unless certain uh, processes are integrated into their daily routine it will be very difficult to control these kind of childhood eczemas to give you a very brief background about childhood eczemas they are generally genetic there would be a parent or a grandparent who has some amount of a genetic tendency towards a flare probably with bronchitis probably a kind of skin eczema and such type of children are strongly predisposed to develop something called atopic eczema as a child and even later as adults we always tell the parents that it is very difficult to understand how to take care of a child who is suffering from atopic eczema it's difficult to give a timeline and tell the parent that it will take so many years for the eczema to settle yes it does get better with age however there are certain baseline rules that have to be followed to make sure that this eczema does not leave behind scars on the child as they become adults the first rule that i would always say is to moisturize the child's body moisturize well when the child is having a bath teach them to have a bath which is an extremely quick lukewarm water bath i like to call it disco baths so um quick in and quick out so you have to go in for a bath have a quick bath with very lukewarm water which does not uh, you know scald the body so it should be just a uh, room temperature water and it should be a bath within 2 to 3 minutes the longer the bath the hotter the bath the more the disturbance in the top layer of the skin and therefore the more the chances of allergens causing eczema if you look at the structure of the skin we would see that in the top layer of the skin we see intricately placed skin cells and these skin cells have got in between cement in them and on top they have something called a lipid layer which prevents the trans epidermal water loss now whenever the water loss is more through the skin there is more chance of the skin drying out and a dry skin will definitely predispose the child to developing eczema so after a very quick bath the body of the child should be patted down to make it um, dry but not extremely so so don't rub the child vigorously pat down the child down gently and when the body is still moist a very good emollient should be applied on the uh, child's body now this emollient should not have a fragrance no color and even if it uh, doesn't smell good it should do the job of preventing trans epidermal water loss Uh, the commonest ingredient which is there available at home readily for us is cold pressed coconut oil however since oil doesn't have the property of uh, being a humectant it will not be able to uh, retain water it will just prevent the trans epidermal water loss so though oil is extremely good to apply on the child's skin it's better to buy a, a humectant or an emollient which has the property to withhold water something which has oatmeal in it There are many creams available in the market which have colloidal oatmeal. Now these creams don't smell very good, but they do the job perfectly in uh, retaining the water in the child's skin. So the skin should be moisturized with an emollient or a humectant which has the ability to retain the water in the top layers of the skin, thereby doing the job which the skin's uh, skin of the child is not doing. So this emollient ideally if you have something with oatmeal in it uh, it retains water for longer these products don't smell great but they do the job well uh, so a quick wash followed by a good moisturizer and that is 90% of the job the remaining 10% would be when the child has flares now what do we mean by flares whenever you visit your dermatologist with a skin issue so the dermatologist gives you a treatment and the skin gets better it settles within a week or two and then we forget to moisturize we forget what advice was given and then there will be a repeat offense and the same problem recurs so if you remember to wash lightly and moisturize the skin well then that's 90% of the problem solved however in atopic children they have a genetic problem a de genetic deficiency in the top layer of the skin because of which there might be periods in which there will be flare up of the disease 
so it could be something that the child is eating and the child is allergic to it could be a article of clothing like something with wool in it which can trigger the atopic dermatitis it could even be the change in the weather so winter seasons are generally worse for atopic children so whenever there are flares of diseases the dermatologist will normally tell you exactly how to take care of these flares by using very mild corticosteroid based creams and immunomodulating creams like tacrolimus and when they are used in conjunction we can definitely decrease the flare however flares are part and parcel of atopic dermatitis so try to identify when your child is going in for a flare and try to understand why the flare is happening is it a food trigger is it something in the child's clothes is it some fragrance which was used in the house is it uh, probably the child had a sports day following which there was a lot of dust exposure and therefore the flare has started so you have to take the signs from the way the child is responding to regular moisturization and despite you doing everything right if there is a flare up of the skin condition then look in the environment surrounding the child so that's uh, identifying the triggers so basic uh, principle for childhood eczemas would remain the same teach the child how to wash and moisturize and definitely identify the trigger el elements now when it comes to diet it is very difficult to um, identify one particular aspect of the diet which causes we definitely have parents telling us that um, my child can't tolerate egg and he he breaks out you know into hives or into um, eczemas when he eats egg yes that's quite common there are five food groups which are known to trigger uh, childhood eczemas it could be gluten in the food it could be egg and egg based it could be nut based citrus or oranges and lemon based and even milk is known to sometimes trigger atopic dermatitis the bottom line is pay close attention to your child's day to day practices and see if there's anything in his immediate environment or food related which is causing a flare up of eczemas support the child in teaching them how to wash and moisturize any doubt should be solved at the dermatologist's office please don't rely on uh, social media for question answer se sessions because not all eczemas are the same so um, have a basic workup with your dermatologist first and they will help you through the flares if any Thank you.